Namaskar and good evening everyone. I'm Rajesh Nayak. I'm Asha Nayak. We warmly welcome you to the Bharatanatyam Arangetram of our daughter, Shriya Nayak. We are delighted to have you all here today to celebrate this joyous occasion. Uh, to guide us through the program, we are honored to introduce Ms. Rai Mukherjee as our MC. Rai has been an incredible source of encouragement and support for Shriya, and we are deeply grateful for her presence today. Please join us in giving a warm round of applause for Rai, Rai Mukherjee. Good afternoon and welcome to the Arangitram of Shriya Nayak. My name is Rai Mukherjee and I am honored to be your host this evening. An Arangetram is a monumental event in the journey of a Bharatanatyam dancer, signifying their debut performance and the transition from student to professional artist. Derived from the Tamil words Arangu, or stage, and Etram, or ascent, Arangetram symbolizes the dancer's elevation to the stage, a culmination of years of rigorous training dedication, and mastery of the ancient classical arts. It is comparable to receiving one's bachelor's degree in Bharatanatyam. It is a proud moment for the dancer, their guru, and their family, celebrating not just the culmination of intense practice, but also the beginning of a lifelong journey in the world of Bharatanatyam. Today, we gather to honor and celebrate this remarkable achievement cherishing the rich cultural heritage and artistic spirit it embodies. It is with great pleasure that I introduce Shriya, a dedicated third-year student at Georgia Tech majoring in environmental science. Shriya's passion for dance has been a constant in her life since childhood, from performing at various events and functions to imitating the iconic Madhuri Dixit on TV. Her love for dance has always shown brightly. Shriya's formal journey in Bharat Natyam began at the tender age of seven under the guidance of Guru Pallavi. And she continued her training with Guru Sobhya Sudeep Kishan at the age of eight. At 13, she joined the Atlanta Nritya Academy, coinciding with their victory at Dance Fever, a moment of pride for her, even though she had not yet met most of her classmates. For several years now, Shriya has been honing her skills in Bharat Natyam and Rabindranath Nitya under the esteemed guidance of Guru Sudakshana Mukherjee. Guru Sudakshana embarked on her dance journey at the age of four in Kolkata, where she trained under Guru Keka Chatterjee, Guru Abhay Pal, and Guru Kohinur Shain Bharat. Proficient in both the Kalakshetra and Pandanalur styles of Bharat Natyam, Sudakshana has further enriched her expertise through workshops with the renowned Rama Vaitanathan and additional training under Guru Uma Tilak in Pune. She has also explored the Navarasa Sadhana with Guru Venuji and pursued Mohiniyattam under Guru Nirmala Panikar. Beyond Bharat Natyam, Sudakshana is also trained in contemporary, Bollywood, folk, and Rabindranitya. She has showcased her talent in numerous dance competitions across India, taught students of all ages and levels, and played a pivotal role in managing the creative vision of her dance group. Shriya's dedication to dance extends beyond Bharat Natyam. In her freshman year of college, she joined ATL Satrangi, an all-girls competitive Bali fusion dance team, achieving a remarkable 13th place nationally by the end of the season. In addition to her dance pursuits, Shriya is an accomplished academic and community member. She has actively participated in the Science Olympiad and KAOG from a young age. At Georgia Tech, she contributes to Arohi, the Indian Classical Arts Society, and leads the Association of Environmental Engineers and Scientists as co-president. In her personal time, Shriya cherishes moments with her friends and family, enjoys listening to music, and indulges in binge-watching TV shows. Today, we are honored to witness Shriya's Arangetram, celebrating her dedication and talent in the art of Bharat Natyam. Before we begin this evening's performance, we kindly ask for your cooperation with a few house rules to ensure a seamless and respectful experience for all. Shriya's performance tonight requires her utmost focus, and in respect for her artistry, we, we request that all cell phones be silenced. 
Please refrain from using any flash photography, as it can be distracting. If you wish to record any part of the performance, kindly do so discreetly and be mindful of those around you. Also, please do not bring any food or drinks into the auditorium. Lastly, if you do need to leave the auditorium, please do so when I'm speaking and not when Shreya is dancing. Thank you for your understanding and your cooperation. Now, without any further delay, the first, person of the first performance of tonight will be Angikam Bhuvanam in the Adi Talam, the Vedanti Ragam, and composed by Dr. Saroja Vedanathan and choreographed by Guru Sudakshana Mukherjee. Angikam Bhuvanam is an exquisite invocation piece dedicated to Lord Shiva. This ancient and revered shloka is often chanted at the start of Bhartanatyam recitals as a prayer to the cosmic dancer, Lord Shiva, who is considered the supreme deity of dance and the arts. The lyrics of Angikam Bhuvanam describes how the physical form of Lord Shiva embodies the universe itself. It translates to, his body is the world, his speech is the language of the Vedas, and his ornaments are the moon and the stars. This profound verse celebrates the divine connection between the physical and the spiritual, illustrating how Lord Shiva's dance encompasses the entire universe. Please give a big round of applause as we invite Shriya to the stage to perform Angi Kambhuvanam. Let's go. 
Shriya will now perform the Ala Ripu in the Talam Tisra, composed by Malati Ayengar, Guru Mutiji, and Ember Kannan, choreographed by Guru Sudakshina Mukherjee. The Ala Ripu is a foundational piece in a Bharatanatyam dancer's repertoire, marking the beginning of the performance sequence known as the Margam. It serves as a warm up, awakening every part of the dancer's body through a series of simple yet precise movements set to a repetitive beat. As the tempo gradually increases, the Alaripu showcases the dancer's control, grace, and readiness for the more complex pieces that follow. Tate, 
now witness the Jatishwaram in the Talam Rupakam, the Ragam Kalyani, and composed and choreographed by the Kalakshetra Foundation. Jatishwaram is a pure dance piece that beautifully combines patterns of musical notes, or known as swaras, with rhythmic movements known as jatis. This piece highlights the dancer's skill through intricate footwork and precise steps known as adavus set to repetitive and narrated syllables. It is a showcase of technical prowess, elegance, and rhythmic complexity. Jump at the 
Before we move on to the next performance, I would like to take a moment to speak about Shriya. I have had the privilege of knowing Shriya throughout her entire journey at Anna, and hosting her Arangetram tonight fills me with immense pride. Over the years, I've watched her grow into not only an exceptional dancer, but a true leader in her class. Shriya consistently inspires her peers with her dedication and passion for dance, and she's always ready to lend a helping hand whenever needed. Her unwavering commitment and positive attitude have made her a role model for all of her fellow dancers. I truly consider her one of my younger sisters, and witnessing, embark her, witnessing her embark on her professional dance journey tonight is a moment I will cherish forever. Shriya's hard work, perseverance, and grace have brought her to this significant milestone, and I am confident that she will continue to shine brightly in all of her future endeavors. Shriya will now present the Shabdam in the Talam Mishra Chapu, the Ragam Mallika, composed by the Tanjore Quartet and choreographed by the Kalakshetra Foundation. This Shabdam revolves around the mischievous pranks of Lord Krishna. In the first story, Krishna torments the lotus-eyed gopikas who are bathing in the river by stealing their clothes and finding amusement in their anguish. The second story recounts how the young Krishna would steal butter from all the women in the village who have hung up their pots in, in store to their butter. The third story talks about the goddess Lakshmi, married to the Vishnu avatar of Lord Krishna, and her troubles when Lord Vishnu would watch the beautiful gopikas walk around the village. And finally, in the fourth story, the narrator longs to see Krishna and scolds him for hiding in the mountains when the village begins to buzz with the stories of his antics.
Before we end the first act, I would love to invite Shweta Pendela on stage to share a few remarks about her friendship with Shreya. Shweta and Shreya both attended South Forsyth High School and immediately became best friends and partners in crime their freshman year. They were involved in many school activities together, with Shweta becoming Shreya's favorite dance partner in their school's dance club. Give it up for Shweta. Hello everyone. When Shreya first told me that I could give a speech, but it needed to be less than 90 seconds, I almost told her no, because in my humble opinion, it is quite liter literally impossible to sum up the amazing human that she is in that short of a time. Shreya is the easiest person to talk about because of her kindness and her compassion. When I think back on my six-year friendship with Shreya, what sticks out to me is how she always said yes. 
Sharia, will you skip class and go to the vending machines with me? Sorry, auntie. Yes. Sharia, will you choreograph a dance with me? Yes. Will you take cute Instagram pictures of me? Yes. Can you give me a hug? 100% yes. Shreya is the most selfless woman on this planet amongst all of her other qualities of being an exceptional student, even if you do have a procrastination problem, a great partner in Science Olympiad, and an extremely talented dancer. I am so proud to support you today and to watch you take such a big leap in your dance journey. Every moment that you are on stage, you embody such grace and power. I become so enthralled in the story that you can somehow magically give without saying anything at all. Watching you grow and smile as a dancer is so beautiful. I think my 90 seconds are almost up, so let me end it with this. Shreya, we are so lucky to have you in our lives, and I have been so privileged to stand by you and watch you become such a mature and dedicated person. You say the most beautiful things, both with your heart and with your dancing, and I am so excited for what's to come. I love you so much. As we celebrate Shreya's remarkable journey today, we have someone very special who has been by her side through it all, her brother Shreyas. Personally, having a younger brother who has always gone to my dance rehearsals and events, I understand how truly special it is to have a younger brother. It is my great pleasure to invite Shreyas to the stage to share his thoughts and experiences about his sister's journey in dance. Please join me in welcoming Shreyas. Hi everyone, thank you all so much for coming today. I've had the pleasure and sometimes the pain of being Shreya's sister, Shreya's brother, for the past 18 years. From the moment I first saw her dancing to now, it's been amazing to witness how Shreya has grown over the years as a dancer, sister, and person. Shreya's been loving to dance for as long as I can remember. Whenever we'd go to parties, she'd always be in the center of the dance floor where I'd be on the side thinking to myself, wow, I wish I could move my body like that. And now, years later, she's been dancing with effortless grace for longer than I've been able to grow some facial hair. <laughs> it's been incredible seeing Shreya prepare for this event. She would come home every single weekend to practice, showing that she did have determination in something else other than getting me to drive her there. Honestly, though, I wouldn't be the person I am today without Shreya. I've really learned a lot over the years from her, whether it was about navigating through high school, how to talk to new people, or what not to do when arguing with our parents. All in all, Shreya's dance and her vibrant nature have left a lasting mark on all of us here today. From childhood adventures to celebrating her achievements on stage, I truly cannot imagine a world without her being my sister, and I look forward to seeing all of her incredible accomplishments in the future. Thank you. Shreya will now conclude the first act with a varnam titled Thai Maheshwari in the Thalam Adi, the Ragam Jagan Mohini, and choreographed by Guru Sudakshina Mukherjee. This Varnam venerates Goddess Maheshwari, also known as Durga. It narrates various episodes from her life, beginning with her role as the consort of Lord Shiva and the mother of Lord Murugan. The Varnam vividly depicts her heroic battle against the demon Mahishasura, which earned her the revered title of Mahishasura Mardini. It further recounts the circumstances surrounding the birth of Lord Murugan, whose conception was interrupted by Lord Agni's messenger seeking Lord Shiva's aid in vanquishing a troublesome demon tormenting the world. The Varnam concludes by extolling the virtues and greatness of the goddess. Mm-hmm. 
Please join me in giving Shriya another round of applause. We will now take a 20 minute intermission. Please take this opportunity to enjoy some light refreshments outside. Kindly return in 20 minutes to continue enjoying the rest of the performance. Thank you. Welcome back to the second act of Shriya's Arangetram. 
We hope you enjoyed the refreshments and are ready for a wonderful rest of the evening. She will begin Act 2 with a padam in the Talam Mishra Chapu Ragam Yamuna Kalyani composed by Vyasarayar and sung by K.S. Chitra, choreographed by Guru Sudakshana Mukherjee. The stories in this padam revolve around Mother Yashoda's love for her little Krishna, whom she yearns to spend time with while he runs around the village spreading mischief. Mother Yashoda devotes her time in dressing up and making butter for her son, who cannot seem to sit still for very long. At one point, Yashoda catches Krishna eating mud outside and forces him to open his mouth. As he does so, he reveals his divinity to her and shows her the entire universe in his mouth, stunning her forever. Krishna Krishna Krishna
I would like to now invite Dia Tanvi Neha to the stage to speak a few words about Shriya. Dia Tanvi and Neha are Shriya's childhood friends from their Konkani Association, with whom she has grown up with. This group of girls holds a special place in her heart, always offering unwavering support. Neha and Shriya are now roommates in college, and the four of them still go out of their way to spend time with each other. In fact, Tanvi flew in from Oregon yesterday, and Dia just came back from India two days ago. Please welcome Dia, Tanvi, and Neha. Hey guys, first of all, if you think Shriya's performance so far was phenomenal, please cheer as loud as you can so she can hear from the back. So for those of you that don't know us, we have had the honor of being friends with Shriya and dancing alongside her for the last 15 years. My name is Thunvi. I'm Dia. And I'm Neha. Today we wanted to take you guys on a journey into the past. Just like Taylor Swift has eras, so does Shriya. Shriya has no idea about our slideshow of perfectly curated photos of her dance career. Sorry, Shriya. Our earliest memories of Shriya were in our Diwali dance practices. In our opinion, this first dance redefined the entertainment industry, and at the forefront was none other than Shriya. When it came to formations for a performance, I would pray that she'd be nearby in case I forgot the steps, which was a lot. Shriya never stopped looking at the audience, and I never stopped looking at Shriya. Next, we move on to probably the most iconic of the eras, the belly dancing era. If you thought that Shriya only did Bollywood and Bharatnatyam, she effortlessly, effortlessly proved the haters wrong with this dance. She didn't get there easily. She had to put in hours by tirelessly practicing her technique off stage, hula hooping. As any good origin story, Shriya also had humble beginnings. As we got older, no longer did we need any aunties to pick our songs, steps, or costumes, because this Konkani Association dance machine could do it all, except drive ourselves to practices. <laughs> this self-choreographed performance was our Bharatanatyam debut together. This three-minute performance arguably took just as much, if not more, effort as this Arangetram. Of course, all good things must come to an end, and these final pictures of our dances together show the same spark that Shriya had when she was just five years old. Shriya, we are so, so proud of you for how far you have come and the crazy dedication you have towards everything you do, from dance to science Olympiad and everything in between, and you have always been there as a listening ear and a shoulder to lean on. Shriya, if it's one thing you have taught me, it's that dance is not just about the steps, but about the energy and love you bring on stage and to the audience. This love and energy continues to shine in everything you do. Whenever I can't figure out the steps of life, I'm glad I have you close by in the periphery of my eye. Shriya, not only have I gotten the chance to grow up with you, 
But I've also had the privilege of having you as my roommate for the past two years. I saw firsthand the amount of passion you've put towards dance, and I can truly say that you've inspired me in so many ways. I'm so, so proud of you. We, we love, love you, Shreya! Another round of applause for Shreya! We will now take a brief departure from the traditional Arangetram format to showcase Shriya's training in Rabindra Nirtha. Rabindra Nirtha, integral to Rabindra Shongit, embodies the dance form envisioned by Rabindranath Tagore, the esteemed Bengali poet, philosopher, and Nobel laureate. Rooted in Tagore's literary and musical compositions, Rubindra Nurto translates his verses into expressive movements and gestures that resonate with the rhythms and emotions of his songs. Characterized by lyrical grace and meticulous choreography, Rubindra Nurto captures the essence of Tagore's poetry through its fluid movements, subtle hand gestures, and emotive facial expressions. Each dance piece unfolds as a narrative, bringing to life a spectrum of emotions, from jubilant celebrations of life and love to contemplative reflections on human existence. We will begin this segment with Amar Mukti Aloe Aloe in the Talam Teora, in the Ragam Mishra Kedara, composed by Rabindranath Tagore, and this rendition is by Timir Bishwash and One Feather Entertainment and choreographed by Guru Sudakshina Mukherjee. In this song, Tagore explores the profound theme of spiritual liberation and the boundless freedom of the soul. The lyrics poetically depict the soul's quest for emancipation, symbolized by the endless expanse of light, or aloe aloe, that pervades the universe.
Shriya will now perform another captivating Rabindrik piece titled Eki Labonne in the Talam Ektal composed by Rabindranath Tagore. And this rendition is by the TRAP group and Timir Bishwash, choreographed by Guru Sudakshina Mukherjee. Rubindu Shongit and Rito spans various themes such as worship, love, patriotism, nature, ceremonies, and wonderment. Eki Labonne falls into the category of nature songs, celebrating the exquisite beauty of spring in its full bloom.
And Arangetram is a monumental occasion, not just for the student, but also for their parents. Mr. and Mrs. Rajesh and Asha Nayak have been steadfast pillars behind Shriya's journey, working tirelessly behind the scenes over the years. From driving her to countless rehearsals, preparing her for big performances, and offering unwavering support to helping make today's event possible. They have been there every step of the way. I would now like to invite them on stage to share a few words about their beloved daughter, Shriya. We hope everyone has been enjoying the show so far. Dear Shriya, you have pursued your passion for dance with authenticity and have executed each of the margams to, to the perfection. Your nurturing of this art form has been transformational and I see you have grown into a wonderful daughter full of honesty, love for everyone, whether young or old. You have made the right choice of choosing dance, you have excelled in it and pursued it re relentlessly. Remember, the only thing you can't accomplish are those that you, you believe you can't. Be bold and face life's challenges as they come. As the saying goes, yad bhavam tad bhavati, you become what you think. You thought about dancing and today we all witnessed you as an exemplary dancer. God bless you with long life and abundant happiness. Dev Barakaru. Shriya, words cannot express how proud we are of you. Your hard work, dedication and love for Bharatnatyam and dance, you, dance have brought you to this significant milestone. Since childhood, we have seen your passion and dedication in dancing. I remember when I enrolled you in dance class, when you were in first grade, you used to complete your homework and chores as soon as you came home so that I would take you to the dance class. Dance class is the only thing I was able to use as a bribe to make you to do things. <laughs> Even now, I can visualize the fear you had at that time on your face. What if I refuse to take you to dance class? Two years back, when, when we were having a discussion about doing your arangetram or not, you were trying everything to convince us so that we don't back out. You used to take me to your friend's Arangetram so that I could get an idea to prepare for this and agree to do your Arangetram. <laughs> this indeed helped clearly. We are glad now that we decided to do your Arangetram and feel proud of you and happy today. Almost every weekend for over a year now, you came home from college to attend dance classes and prepare for this. Balancing dance classes with your college classes and clubs is no easy task. Keep up the hard work. We are incredibly proud of you. You have missed so many get-togethers, missed going on trips with your friends during college breaks because of dance classes to prepare for this day. In fact, you consistently seize opportunities to perform at events, demonstrating your deep love for dance. Today, as you perform your Arangetram, you are not just showcasing your talent, but also celebrating years of learning, practice, and growth. We wish you a success in all your future endeavors. Know that we will always be here to support you. We love you. Tonight, we have heard heartfelt words from many people close to Shriya, expressing how much she means to them and how proud they are of her. Now it is my great pleasure to invite Shriya herself to the stage to share her thoughts on what this special day means to her and reflect on her journey leading up to this moment. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Shriya. for coming out to support me and cheer me on today. Uh, my speech is not going to be as good as everyone else's because my brain is not working right now. Um, but I, like Swaita said, I also procrastinate on the speech. So, um, yeah, so um, 
When I started dance at Atlanta Nithya Academy, I did not think I was going to do an Arangitra. But um, seeing the love that everyone had for me, whether it be auntie or Jyoti auntie, or literally everyone in KOG that was like, so when are you doing your Arangitra? And I'm like, what Arangitra? So <laughs> um, yeah, so without you guys' support, I would not have been doing this today. Um, the love that everyone has shown me before this is like so much and like I don't even know what to say about it. Um, literally like everyone, whether like I've grown up with you or whether I met you two years ago in college, the amount of love and like support and everything that you've shown me is just so touching. And I really don't want to cry because I have to perform after this. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, on to specifics, thank you, Rai, for doing everything, for literally every performance, every birthday. She's al always gone above and beyond to help me and support me and encourage me. Um, thank you to Jyoti Aunty for always helping me out whenever I need anything. Um, um, thank you to Mimi Aunty for always being so supportive. You're like a second mother to me. Um, my eyeliner is going. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys are what I want to be when I grow up. I mean, I'm grown up, but like what I aspire to be. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you to Shreyas, who, did, who was forced to do all this manual labor in the past two months. <laughs> um, that's the most emotion I've ever heard him say in one sitting. Um, and thank you to my parents for always supporting me, always letting me dance, even though if I failed a class or a test, we're always being like, you can't go to dance, and then being like, okay, fine, it's whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, they didn't want to do this at first, but then they were like, okay, you clearly really want to do this, and then they never, ever, ever stopped supporting me with this. Um, you should, like, I'm sure a lot of you have seen in the past two months um, how, like, anxious and like, have you done this? Have you done this? Do we do this? Do we do this? Even though like literally a year ago, they were like, are you sure you want to do this? Are you, are you sure? Are you sure you want to do this? So without them, I would be absolutely nothing. So big, big round of applause for them. But yeah, thank you. Thank you so much to everyone that came out here today. Whether you tried to come and couldn't, or are here right in front of me because you took a flight from another continent, or like, yeah. But that's enough of me talking. Let's go back to the program. Um, it's now time for Maithalana, and let's welcome back Rai. <laughs> We have now arrived at the Tilana. Tilana is the final piece of the Margam, a dance focused on rhythmic patterns and fast-paced footwork. This Tilana is centered around Lord Murugan, whose vehicle is a peacock. This is in the Talam Adi. The Ragam is Sindhu Bhairavi. This rendition is by Bombay Jayashree and choreographed by Guru Sudakshana Mukherjee. Please give it up for Shriya. Yeah. 
is a milestone that is only possible through the deep and nurturing relationship between a guru and their shishya, or student. This bond is more than just an educational one. It is a profound connection built on trust, respect, and mutual dedication. A guru imparts not only the technical skills of the art form, but also instills discipline, passion, and a deep understanding of the cultural heritage. In return, the shishya offers commitment, perseverance, and reverence. This evening, we have the honor of witnessing the culmination of such a relationship between Shriya and her esteemed guru. It is my pleasure to invite Guru Sudakshina Mukherjee on stage to share her insights and experiences with Shriya. Please join me in welcoming her. Namaskaram, everyone, and thank you for coming to Shriya's Arangitram. I hope you are enjoying the performance thus far. This evening is specially significant as it makes, as it marks the first Arangitram of our school. <laughs> A milestone that fills my heart with immense joy and pride. I'm deeply thankful to God, my gurus, my parents, my children, and my Atlanta Nritya Academy family 
for their unwavering support and blessings. Shreya's journey with dance with me began with her attending my Bollywood classes and her enthusiasm was so palpable that I approached her mother with a request to teach her Bharatanatyam. Thus began our beautiful journey together. Shreya's enthusiasm for learning is boundless and she brings an incredible focus and joy to every class. She never misses a chance to perform or attend workshops, consistently showing up for regular classes with a happy face. Balancing the demands of college and attending classes every weekend, Shreya not only excels in her own learning, but also assists me in teaching. I have never seen her in a dull mood. Her energy and passion are infectious, and I always look forward to our sessions together. I would like to take a moment to reflect on the profound tradition of the Guru Shishya Parampara, a cornerstone of Indian classical arts. The Guru Shishya Parampara, or the teacher-student tradition, is a sacred and time-honored relationship that transcends the mere transfer of knowledge. It is a bond of mutual respect, dedication, and love for the art form. The guru imparts not only the technical skills and nuances of the dance, but also instills discipline, values, and a deep understanding of the cultural and spiritual essence of the art. In this tradition, this, the shishya or the student commits to learning with humility, dedication, and an open heart. The journey is not just about mastering movements, but about internalizing the wisdom and ethos that the Guru shares. This relationship fosters a nurturing environment where the student grows, grows not only as an artist, but also as an individual. Shriya truly embodies the essence of this sacred tradition. Her respect for the art form, her dedication, and her consistent efforts in learning Bharatanatyam reflect the true spirit of the Guru Shishya Parampara. Over the years, I have witnessed her unwavering commitment, her eagerness to absorb knowledge, and her joy in every step of this journey. For me, as a guru, it has been an absolute privilege to guide her and watch her blossom into a beautiful dancer. The mutual respect and trust we share have enriched our journey and made it a rewarding experience. This tradition is a continuous cycle of learning and growth. And it is my hope that Shriya will carry forward this legacy, enriching her life and the lives of others through her art. I would also like to express my gratitude to Shriya's parents for their unwavering support over the past eight years. Your belief in me and my vision has made, the, made this journey truly wonderful. A special thank you to my team, Jyoti, Kirti, Aruna, Ranu, and Saroja, whose encouragement and support have been invaluable. Jyoti and Kirti have always emphasized the importance of starting Arangetrams. Jyoti, your assistance during the photo shoot, planning, and makeup will forever be remembered. Lastly, a heartfelt thank you to my daughter, Rai, for all her hard work behind the scene and being ready to step in whatever capacity we need her in. Thank you all for being here to celebrate this momentous occasion. Your presence means the world to me and my school. Now I'll pass it back to Rai as we prepare for the final performance. Thank you all. And just like that, we have arrived at the final performance of this evening. Years of training, months of preparation, and weeks of planning have culminated in this moment. Today, we have journeyed through the many stepping stones a dancer must navigate to reach her Arangetram. 
Shriya will now perform the Mangalam titled Bhumi Mangalam. The Mangalam is an auspicious conclusion to the program where the dancer seeks the blessings of the Lord and expresses gratitude to everyone who has been a part of this journey and to all of you kindly watching. This is composed by Ravi Shankar and choreographed by Guru Sudakshina Mukherjee. Ladies and gentlemen, one last time, please give the loudest round of applause as she concludes her Arangetan. Maybe one more round of applause, a long one. I think one more round of applause. Thank you all so much for being the most wonderful audience to Shriya as she began her journey into becoming a professional Bharatanatyam dancer. It has been the honor of a lifetime to be able to take you all on that journey today. I would now like to thank some key individuals who make today happen. Our light technicians, Alexis Barker and Mick Duff. Please give them a big round of applause. Sound and Light Management by Twisha Enem. And Photography and Videography by Venkat Kutua and Anand Saukar. And a very special thank you to our backstage assistant, Meeda Sunkara. 
I would like to now invite Shriya and Guru Sudakshina to the stage so we can present Shriya with a certificate of completion. This is the first Arangetram from Atlanta Nurtha Academy, and we are so honored, grateful, and proud that it was with Shriya. We would now like to present Shriya Naik with the certificate of completion for her Arangetram. I would like to now invite the Nayak family on stage to facilitate the Guru Dakshina. We would now like to express our heartfelt thanks to our amazing MC, Rai Mukherjee, for doing such an exceptional job in hosting today's event. Rai, can you please come to the stage and accept our token of appreciation? Hello everyone. We hope you enjoyed our daughter's performance today. Your presence made this occasion even more memorable that we are deeply grateful. The success of today's event is largely due to, due to unwavering commitment, support and guidance of Guru Sudakshina Mukherjee. We want to express our heartfelt gratitude to you, Sudakshina, for everything you have done for our daughter, Shriya. Thank you for accommodating her dance class schedules around her college work, providing her with numerous performance opportunities and instilling in her a sense of responsibility and independence. Your efforts have played a crucial role in her growth as a dancer. In fact, I vividly remember the day you encouraged her to do her own dance makeup in seventh grade which was amazing to see. Thank you also for meeting us whenever we had questions and for guiding us through the preparation for this big day. Your wonderful choreography and song selection made the performance truly special. We extend our deepest gratitude to everyone who contributed their time, effort, and energy to make this event possible. Special thanks to our MC Rai Mukherjee for a smooth and efficient narration and to photographer and videographer Ven Venkat Kutua for capturing the memories beautifully. Jyoti, thank you for the stunning makeup and your help during the photo shoot. Thank you, Reshma, Teju, Uttara, Sandeep, Dipali, Maya, Geetu, Saroja, Aruna, Madhavi, Kirti, Ranu, Sandesh, Anil, Chetan, Varsha, Manjula, and everyone else who helped with these beautiful decorations and planning. 
we really appreciate We really appreciate you taking the time from your busy schedule to help, with, uh, help us with this. Your creativity and hard work has transformed this venue into a beautiful and welcoming space. Additionally, thank you to everyone who generously lent us decoration items and other necessities. We are grateful to Nilesh, Varsha, Vikas, Manjula, Sandesh, Anil, Reshma, Chetan, Savita, Maya, Ganpati, Geetu, Anvi, Sunil, Sejal, Sanjay, Vandana, Dipali, Suvarna, Rajkini, and all other volunteers for their help with food, logistics, transportation, and other tasks. You are caught. <laughs> Your contribution, big and small, has been invaluable. Thank you, Twisha, for handling the sound and lighting, Harsha for creating the beautiful video, and Ganpati, and Ganpati for last-minute essentials from India. <laughs> Additionally, we would like to thank Anand for graciously offering to take such a wonderful videos and pictures for the entire event, including the stage rehearsal. A special thank you to Tanvi, Dia, Neha, and Sveta for your wonderful speeches about Shriya and for helping with backstage videos and ushering. Medha, thank you for your backstage assistance during the performance. Thank you, Meghna, Sushma, and Deepak for generously sharing Arangetram information based on your experiences, which was incredibly helpful in our planning. Special thanks to our family and friends in India for their support in preparing for this event. We appreciate Shriya's dance school friends and family for their unwavering support and encouragement. Thank you Malini, Vibhav and Shishir for flying in from Boston and California and all your help. And thanks to all of Shriya's friends who traveled from other states. Your efforts mean a lot to us. Thank you, Suvarna, Dia, Kavya, for planning your India trips in such a way that you could make it here. We are grateful for your presence here today. We also thank the West Forsyth manage School Management, Michael Parker, supervisors, audio team, and custodial staff for the support. Everyone, we are truly blessed to have you all in our lives. Many of you rescheduled other events and continually checked in to offer help. Your support and generosity have made this, event, this day unforgettable for us and for Shriya. Please forgive us if we have missed any, anyone's name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you once again for being the part of this special occasion. Now we will bring back Rai one more last time. Thank you all once again for attending Shriya's Arangetram today. You all have made today so special. Shriya and her family have prepared a small token of their thanks that is available for all of you to take home outside the theater. Please do not forget to pick this up on your way out. Additionally, if you would like to come meet and take pictures with Shriya, please do so once the house lights are on. Please come to this side of the stage, remove your shoes, take pictures with her, and exit through that side of the stage so we have an orderly flow of traffic. We would first like Shriya's classmates from her dance school to come first so that we can get a group picture, followed by all of her school and college friends. Thank you all for being a wonderful audience, and with that, we conclude tonight's event. Thank you all so much. Thank you.